welcome to week three of the Rose Theater's Arts at Home videos. I am Haley Greenstreet and we are going to be creating some theater design crafts today. Specifically, we're going to focus on props. Now, props are items that actors interact with throughout a production and some examples that I can give to you are like in when you give a mouse a cookie, we have this giant cookie that we made to make our actor, our human actor, who is playing a mouse, look very small compared to the cookie. Another example that I, I really like is in our past production of Elf the Musical, which was in this season and last season, in 2019 to 2020 season, um, we had Etch-a-Sketches, which is this old kind of game. It's red and it's silver, and it has these two little uh, dials on it that are white that we use to, to draw a design on the screen. And sometimes props are very expensive. So what we did instead of buying a lot of Etch-a-Sketches, especially because they were being made in Santa's workshop, is we made some things that looked like Etch-a-Sketches. So for instance, we had a piece of plywood and we painted it red and silver, and then we put two bottle caps onto the bottom of it to make it look like the knobs. And so those were how we made Etch-a-Sketches. And today we're going to be making some binoculars using all of those toilet paper rolls that if you're anything like my household we've been collecting over the past few weeks <laughs> and to give you an example of what binoculars look like these are some uh, binoculars that we use for camping sometimes binoculars are of course a device that you use you put them up to your eyes and you can see far distances and these binoculars might be expensive, so in, in the future, if we were to ever do a show at the Rose Theater that needed a lot of pairs of binoculars, it might be useful to use something like toilet paper and paper towel rolls to make them. So let's see how that will work. The materials that you will need to make your binoculars today are three, not two, but three toilet paper rolls, a stapler, some colorful markers or paints, which I'll talk a little bit about later, some scissors, and some shoelaces, or if you have string or twine, something that will help you be able to make your uh, necklace piece. And the very first thing that we are going to do is we are going to personalize our binoculars because binoculars, I don't know about you, but I've never seen any binoculars that look like cardboard. So I'm going to use those markers that I just showed you to color uh, all over these rolls to make them look nice and pretty. And I mentioned earlier that you might want to use paint. If you have some paint at home and you have paper towels to put down so that you don't make a mess, um, you can paint the paper towel rolls or the toilet paper rolls and they will turn out just as vibrant and bright and maybe after some drying will be a little bit easier to uh, see all of the colors as opposed to using markers. However, if you have markers, those will work just as well. So let's start designing our toilet paper rolls, shall we? <laughs> Alright friends, so now that you've colored your two toilet paper or paper towel rolls, what we're going to do is we're going to add that third one in. So my friends, one thing I will say for the purposes of you making your own, you may have noticed earlier that this is a bit shorter than the other two. Now, these two are uh, paper towel rolls. This is a paper towel roll that I cut in half because it's just a little bit stronger, a little bit thicker cardboard 
than the toilet paper. However, I am going to use one toilet paper roll to make the bridge between the two lenses because if you look at a regular pair of binoculars, and these are way less colorful than mine, you could have done that too. You could have made yours one color, camouflage even, or you could have been like me and made it all rainbow. But do you see this bridge between the two lenses? We're going to do a small one of those that looks a little bit like the bridge between my glass lenses, right? So we're going to take this third roll of toilet paper and we're going to cut it in half to make the bridge between our two lenses. So let's see what that looks like. And if you're anything like me, friends, you like everything to match. So I just colored my uh, little bridge piece. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my bridge piece and kind of fold it into that round shape that it's used to being in, that TP roll shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these ends and staple between our cardboard pieces. So you can line it up so that's kind of in the middle there. And if you have two TP rolls that are about the same, you can line it up here. And you're going to take your stapler and you will go into the center of this hole and just staple once on either side for each um, side, for each lens of your toilet paper binoculars. So let me show you what that looks like. All right, friends, now that you have your bridge piece attached, you should be able to keep those two lenses, those two um, TP rolls that are on the outside together. You can look through them and start to practice seeing all the cool things you can see. And now what we're going to do is to make it even more authentic or real to what an actual pair of binoculars looks like, we're going to add the necklace piece. So my friends, if you uh, take your shoelace or your piece of string or twine or yarn or whatever you have at home, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the ends of our shoelaces to the very tippity tops of our two lenses. We're going to staple right here and we're going to staple right here. And there you have it, friends. You have a set of binoculars around your neck that you can take on whatever adventures you want. Let's see if we can spot anything cool in my house today. In my house, I see a stuffed hedgehog. Hmm. Next in my house, I see another stuffed hedgehog. And in my house I see, <gasps> wait, an actual hedgehog. Thanks for going on my hedgehog adventure today, friends. And uh, if you have not met him before, this is Ernie, our special guest star in our, our <laughs> binocular making video. Oh, I know. And my friends, I hope that you have lots of fun adventures with your binoculars too. I'll catch you next week for some more design crafts and activities.